After over six years of imprisonment, former Senator Laila De Lima has finally been released. In the last hearing for her remaining case this year, the Muntinlupa Regional Trial Court reversed its previous decision, allowing De Lima to post bail for her remaining charge. In the resolution of Muntinlupa RTC Branch 206, it stated that the prosecution failed to present strong evidence regarding De Lima's alleged conspiracy with fellow accused to sell illegal drugs within the new beloved prison. The court found the testimonies of the witnesses against De Lima not credible and the alleged conspiracy unproven. Now that she is free, De Lima intends to continue her advocacies and remain a part of the opposition. I'm with the opposition because we share the very same advocacies, ideals, and visions for this country. And hindi naman natapos yung pakikilaban ko sa mga advocacies ko habang nakapulong ako. I, I, I never stopped. And, and now that I'm free, I'm, I'm even going to work harder for those advocacies. She aims to reveal the truth about what she calls a fabricated case that she endured for a long time, particularly since many believe in the validity of the accusations against her. I want people to know the truth of my innocence. I want the people to know how it happened. I want the people to know who are behind it. The former senator seeks complete vindication for the damage to her name and reputation. They destroyed my life. And that's why I'm going to rebuild my life now. They destroyed or ruined my name, my reputation. Now that I'm free, I'm going to work hard to redeem my name. And vindication, complete vindication is the key. De Lima also has a message for former President Rodrigo Duterte. God forgive him and God bless him. He knows what he did to me, I suppose. Nevertheless, she considers her unjust imprisonment as a blessing, acknowledging the lesson she learned while in confinement. I, be I became more prayerful. I became closer to the Lord. Because, you know, I, I've, I've got so much time to pray, to read the Bible, to reflect. One of her priorities is to return to Iriga City in Bicol to be with her 91-year-old bedridden mother. JP Nunez, UNTV, News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.